RoomScale VR has always required you to be on your feet, walking around a room, and turning around in a 360. But for some people, this is impossible for a number of reasons. It could be due to a small room size, a physical disability, or the type of controllers that you're using. But luckily, that's all about to change right now. Hey guys, Daily Tech here, and today I'm going to be showing you how walk-in VR can change your VR gaming experience. Now, the developer of the software gave me a beta version of this so that I could test it out and show you guys how it works. First, I'm going to show you just how easy this is to get installed. Secondly, we're going to talk about a few reasons on how this benefits you. And lastly, we're going to do some gameplay to see how well this actually does work. What this is in a nutshell, it's an add-on for Steam VR that allows you to virtually walk around in your virtual environment kind of like a VR inception. One controller will let you turn around, the other controller will let you move up and down. This is primarily marketed for people who might have mobility issues and want to experience VR just like everyone else. However, this might also be useful for people who don't have motion controllers that have 360 degree tracking. Controllers like Nolo VR that's coming out next month and people who are using a two camera setup for the PS Move service both would benefit huge from this. But I guess the easiest way for me to explain this to you is just to show you how it works. So first, let's go check out the install, then we'll get into some of the gaming. First, you'll need to download the software and install it using defaults. Then you'll see the confirmation window saying it's finished. Just close that down, then when you first run it, you'll need to enter in account details for it to start up. Once finished, start up Walk-In VR and Steam VR. Now here, we can configure what each controller does. We'll select one controller here, then pick the action we want to use for it. I select move for this one. Then we tell it to use the system button to make that action. There is also an option for double press that will give you the function of the normal button. Since this button opens up the Steam VR menu, we will still need that. Then we'll do the exact same thing with the next controller, but this time we're going to have it rotate. And that's it, we're ready to go. Okay, so as you can see, I got Steam VR running there. The mirror is up and showing the uh, Steam VR homeroom. Also, Walk-in VR is running there. It hasn't connected yet, and you can tell that by looking down at the Steam VR status window, and you'll see that this little wheelchair icon is there now, and it's grayed out. All you need to do, click on Start Walk-in VR, and this is going to start up the service in Steam. Let's check it out. So when playing, you'll notice there's a lot of different games that are 360, but as I'm sitting in a wheelchair just like this, it's not actually a wheelchair, it's just my office chair, but we're going to make pretend right now. But it can only look so far without having to actually physically turn around. But the nice thing is now with this controller, all I do is hit my, my system menu button, and then all I do is move the controller, and I can turn the play space right around me. So this is pretty cool. This is going to give you the opportunity to look all the way around in 360. Secondly, I'm quite low to the ground because I have set the head height right. And uh, a lot of games you might want to set up a little bit higher. So what you can do is take your, uh, your other controller and then same thing. But this will move you up and down and you can move forwards and backwards as well. So let's check this out in a game. Now to open up the menu, you hit the same button, but you just double tap it. And that brings up your Steam VR menu. So let's check out a game here that might require a little bit more motion than you would normally have. Now one game that comes to mind here is Out of Ammo. Let's try that out. Alright, so in game. This is where I'm going to load up in game. And I do want to go over to that shooting range, but that is a little bit far away. So I'm going to have to turn myself to go and take a look at that shooting range. And now I can teleport around and grab my gun. Off, grab a little while since I played this, but uh, let's go check it out. And there we go. Pretty cool. And this is all, and I can move all the way around without having to actually get up, which is pretty cool. Now as far as quick motions, if it was something that you had to look around back and forth really quickly, 
This would be a lot challenging. You'd have to get used to using your controls quickly. However, I'm sure once you've used this for a while, you'll probably get really used to it in a hurry. Now, I am pretty low at this table. I want to stand up a little bit more. So all I do is move myself up. And there we go. And we can just shoot all kinds of targets and everything that's out there. Ah, oh, right out of ammo. Guess that's why they call it out of ammo. I'm not a very good shot here, but either way, let's go check out a quick level now. Let's see how this actually works in gameplay. And let's do some D Day. Oops. All right, so I am quite low. Let's move back up to a pretty reasonable spot and check things out. Now, one thing to keep in mind too is that once this does go live, there's gonna be anti-cheating things put into place. So that way you won't be able to move outside of your defined play space. Because there is some opportunity to make this a cheat. However, um, this will be blocked because this is not what it's designed for. It is really designed just to enhance your play as opposed to give you a huge advantage over everyone else. So, take some of these guys. Uh, I kind of forget how to play this now. Oh, wait a minute. Here we go. So, let's take one of these. Put it here. Put a sniper tower right here. Let's see what else we got. Now there's a few bugs yet to get worked out, but uh, all in all, this is working pretty good. And if I didn't have the ability to turn myself like this, there's no way I'd be able to check out to make sure that, you know, people aren't shooting from behind me, or if anything else is coming up that uh, I otherwise would never be able to see. So we got a sniper up in here. You can just put someone let's go in here oh boy this isn't good I don't know if I like this spot at all but either way I think you get BAM Ah, oh. but either way, I think you get the idea of how this is going to work. Let's get out of this game, and I'll just double tap, and we can exit game. Well, I hope you enjoyed what Walk-In VR has to offer you. This is going to cost about 10 bucks once it's released, and from my understanding, this is just going to be a one-time fee, and then you get to keep it for life. If you want to see more of what Walk-In VR has to offer, check the description below. There's a few links there to some of the developer videos, and he'll be able to give you a lot more up-to-date details on how this is progressing. So thanks for watching this video, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more great VR content like this in the future. We'll see you next time.